I know it's been a while and it's taken me ages to put this video up and I'm really sorry about that but a lot of things have happened, not so good things, but I'm now back on track. So this is the video I did, it's a very summery, kind of cool tone with a bit of warmth in it so if you like the look of this look, please keep watching. Okay, so we're gonna start off with the eyes and I've already previously primed my eyes and I'm going in with the Kat Von D uh, Metal Matte, matte met, yeah, Metal Matte Palette and the color Bone, I think it was, and that's just to highlight the brow bone but also to set the primer. And then I'm going in with the color Suede as my transition color and literally just running that through the crease and blending it outwards. You know when you say something and it just doesn't quite sound right and for some reason Metal Matte didn't sound right but I knew that's what it was called. So it is the Metal Matte palette. We're now going to go in with a MAC eyeshadow and this is in the colour Sex and the Oyster, the Lux Pearl. Um, I don't know if they still do that, I've got, got this quite a while ago but I just absolutely love these colours that I'm going to use and we're just going to apply that into the crease so it's kind of our first, well not our first colour, we have the transition shade but our first greeny blue shade that we're going to go in with and we're just going to bring that on to the eyelid, like a quarter of the eyelid on the outer part and just keep blending. We're now going to go in with our lid shade and that's the colour Ignite from the Metal Matte Palette by Kat Von D and this is the reason why I created this look purely just to use this eyeshadow. It is so beautiful, it's such a frosty greeny blue, it's like it's more beautiful when you see it on your eyelid rather than in the video but as you can see it's still lovely. And then we just want to blend that into that matte colour that we used earlier in the crease. Now to deepen that crease a little bit more, we're going to take the colour What from that ma ma blah, 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 Metal Matte palette um, and that is purely just to deepen the crease a little bit more because it's just a bit too light and just bring in that a little bit onto the eyelid because we're going to go in with an even darker colour as well. And after you're happy with the consistency, if you want a perfect blend, the best thing you can do is to keep going back and forth with the colours you've used, just to, you know, really fuse the colours together and really make it look flawless, if you understand what I mean. And then to really top off the blending skills, always go in with a clean fluffy brush and just go along the edges, you'll literally blend it out seamlessly if you do that. We're now going to go in with the last MAC pigment and it's called Eat Love Satin, yeah? And we're literally going to be applying that to the outer corner and into the crease. But not bringing it all the way up, it's just to darken that outer corner part. I don't know if you can get these MAC colours anymore, if I remember they were part of a limited edition range but I don't know if they would have bought it out and called it something else, I'll have to look into that. And then going back in with that clean fluffy brush. We're just going to wipe away the edges and then I'm going to go in with Stila Cosmetics Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner in the colour Blue Fin and I just want to create a small winged liner and the best way to do is just add in bits and then brushing it out and I'm working on the flick first. So it's kind of really hard to explain, it's better if you just see me do it which I'm obviously doing right now. But um, yeah, if you work on the flick first, get the right thickness, it's always good to start off small and then build on top of it because if you start too big, you're not going to be able to wipe it away without ruining the rest of the makeup and having to redo other parts. So as you can see, this is the eyeliner complete. We're now going to move on to the face and I'm going in with Falorga's Time Zero. It's kind of like a serum, it's for like anti-wrinkles and um, stuff but it's also a really good primer so I just apply it to the areas of my face which are more problematic with my oils because I have very oily skin and it kind of has like a stickiness to it which is good because then you know your makeup's going to stick to it and not budge. We're now going to go in with my trusty sleep makeup colour correcting palette and we're going to take that green shade and apply it to the areas where 
have a lot of redness and then blend it out with that beauty blender. And then we're going to go in with Becca Cosmetics Under Eye Brightening Corrector for those lovely little bags and blue areas underneath the eyes and it just brightens that area up so when you put concealer on next it just hides those dark areas. It's such a great product. For concealer, I haven't actually used this in my video but I use this like kind of all the time because it's such, it gives such perfect coverage with without it feeling like you have it on your face and it's the Maybelline Instant Anti-Age The Eraser Eye Perfect and Cover Concealer in Light and I just like to apply that to the under eyes and those red areas and then blend it out with a beauty blender. Now to set underneath the eyes I'm taking just a white powder by Fardell. You can't get this anymore and I have actually run out of it and I've replaced it with the Laura Mercier translucent powder which is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Like, oh. Okay, so for my next product, this is something new and this is the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Pressed Mineral Makeup in light. Now, this is a powder foundation. It's called their One Minute Makeover because it literally takes one minute to apply. And as you can see, I'm applying, like, stippling it on with like a kind of like a more denser brush and then after I've placed it everywhere I just like to gently wipe away any excess powder but this is all mineral based but it has sheer butter in it so once it touches your face your face will warm it up and yeah it literally melts into your skin and you just have like a really flawless complexion and you'll start to see this throughout my video so for contouring, I'm going in with obviously my Kat Von D Shade and Light palette and I'm taking the colour, uh, I think it was Shadow Play. Nope, I was wrong, it was Sombre. Sometimes I differ between the two and sometimes I can never remember. I'm now for highlighting using the colour Lyric from the same palette and I like to apply that to where all the light hits and underneath my eye as well just to create more dimension to the face instead of it looking just Flat. I'm now for blusher taking Nars's deep throat. This is an old blusher by the way. I bought this when they were animal cruelty free and I will not be buying from them again unless they change their ways. For highlighting I'm taking the Kat Von D Alchemist palette and the colour Emerald. Just a time with the greeny blue look and do you know what this I've used a green highlighter before and it can be a bit too cool but this is really warming and it really suits the olive tone in my skin as well and I'm just applying that to the tip of my nose and my cupid's bow as well. We're now going to go back to the eyes and finish them off and we're taking that Sex and the Oyster colour and just running that on the oh, bottom lid, the lower lid even, for some reason the words escaped me. And then taking that Eat Love Satin colour as well and just running that really kind of into the corner and blending it into the other colour just to deepen it really. The other colour was a bit too light and they look so good together. So for inner corner highlight, this is one of my faves, it's by Urban Decay, it's their Moon Dust in Solstice. And it's like a pink, but it has like a bluey green, kind of like the lid colour um, glitter running through it and it just highlights wonderfully. I'm now going to apply my one and only mascara by Benefits. Gosh. My words are terrible, they're just disappearing out of my head. And it's the Roller Lash one. And then I'm gonna apply these Isla 118 eyelashes. They're really subtle, but really effective. And I absolutely love them, especially for every day. And I just feel like it really suits this look because I didn't want them to block the eye colors, especially with the eyeliner as well. And I think they just go so perfectly. So moving on to the lips, I had so many colours and I couldn't quite decide but I went with the Milani Metallic More one, um, I think it's in the shade Matte About You. And this is the finished look, I 
I honestly, I absolutely love how this turned out. I'm so glad I went with this lip colour because these eyes, they are quite cool tone and they do have like that greeny warmth in them, which kind of works with the lipstick because the lipstick is very warming, but it like warms up the rest of the face and, you know, prevents it from looking too cool tone. But yes, I am obsessed and I plan to use these colours all the time throughout the summer because they just work so well. So if you really like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. All the links to all the products will be listed down below as usual. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. I'm happy to answer them. I also have a Twitter, a Facebook page, an Instagram and a blog as well, which will all be linked down below. So please check those out. And if you're still here, you watch this video, you're subscribed to me or you like this video, thank you so much. It means the absolute world to me and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye guys!